Today is the 20th of March and that marks the first day of spring, officially. So I thought, what better than a nice oven deep clean? Today we are gonna be cleaning with the Oven Pride Deep Cleaning Kit. So let's get in to the video. make sure you are wearing gloves when you are cleaning the oven especially if you are using chemicals for obvious reasons the reason I love using this kit so much is it really is effective at getting rid of any grease and grime on your oven and I just find it a lot more simpler I'm not here for the clean harder we are here for the clean smarter not harder so I'm now gonna go in with the scrub daddy. There's just a nice piece of burnt on gunk there that I've ripped out. And I'm gonna slather the solution all over the oven. The racks have already gone into the bag that they provide you with. And then I'm gonna go ahead shortly and fill the bag up with the rest of the solution. Make sure that if you are using these that you coat the whole of your oven. So it looks a hot mess to begin with. And I know it just looks gross but go with it. There is gonna be a load of mess before there is a load of clean. Here is the bag that I spoke to you guys about a second ago. And now I'm gonna go ahead and put the solution into this bag. So all the glass goes in there, all of the racks from the top and the bottom oven go in this bag. And then I set it to one side. Preferably you wanna leave this outside. Make sure though that it is away from pets. Don't let your pets go near this because it's a chemical, you don't want them to get into any danger there. So just be mindful when you are using kits like this. I'm now taking off any kind of attachments that I can. All our ovens will be different. So if you can remove any of the stuff, go ahead and remove it and give these a deep clean as well. The Sonic Scrubber is being brought out today to get into those little crevices. I really do enjoy using this Sonic Scrubber. It's kind of like, uh, electric toothbrush for your cleaning. Pressing on to the hob buttons, mine actually come off. So if yours do come off, it's always easier to just take these off and give them a good soak. To clean these, I am going to be using just dish soap. So I'm just gonna put them in some hot water and dish soap and I'm gonna get any grease or grime off of them. Again, I am using our electronic cleaning toothbrush for this task. It's the Sonic Scrubber. been left to sit for about four hours so you want to leave it for around four hours ideally overnight but I left it for around four hours and now it is time to remove the excess that is cleared away from the oven so you want to use something quite porous at this stage like a sponge I'm using the scrub daddy sponge I mean look at this it's unacceptable
going in with my cloth just to get any of the excess moisture that's left over. As you can see, I've removed a lot of it. It's really important when you are using these oven cleaning kits that you do get all of the product out of the oven. So you don't want anything left lingering in there. So you might have to go in a few times. This is the part that I find the most aggravating and I wish there was some sort of invention where we didn't have to do this, but here we are. Now I'm gonna go ahead and wipe down the doors on my oven. So again, I've just gone over it with the scrub daddy sponge and then I'm going over it with a cloth. We're gonna do the exact same process on the top oven as well. Now I have left the attachments to the hob to air dry. I'm good to go ahead and replace them now and put them back on to the oven. And once you've done this, just give them a little buff away with a microfiber cloth. Make sure it is a clean and dry one. And then I'm going in with my iClean Mini. I've spoken to you guys about this before. It is so, so good at sanitizing. And also it's gonna just remove any excess product that I might have missed initially. I'm just being captain cautious here, quite frankly, just to make sure that there is no product left within my oven. Now it's time to tackle the hob itself. So again for this, I've used a tiny bit of the oven cleaner that we used earlier in this video. So I've put a tiny bit of it onto the hob and now I'm just going around and giving it a good, nice clean. This will lift any grime or grease or dirt that is left on your hob. So I really, really do advise you to use this if you want something that is gonna do the job effectively. Now we're just gonna rinse off that product off of the hob and I'm gonna once again go in with the iClean Mini. Here's a before. And here is the after. time to tackle the items that we had soaking in our plastic bag. So these will be things like if you've got glass panels that you could remove or the racks, now's the time to start scrubbing at them and rinsing them off. If you found that it hasn't taken off enough of the grease and grime, go ahead, rub it in and then place them back within the plastic bag. You don't have to then go, oh well, it's not worked, let's leave it. They just need a bit longer to soak. So don't waste the product, put them back in the bag. Any bits that you, you feel like it's not worked enough, place them back in the bag for a couple of hours longer and then go back to those once the time is up. Now I've left these racks for a bit longer. All of the grease and grime is finally coming off of them. So they are good to be rinsed off as well and placed back in the oven. Look at 
scrub daddy there having a whale of a time in his bubble bath. important step here as well guys is you've just seen me empty the rest of the solution into the sink please make sure you do this don't just throw it in your trash bag here is the before of the whole oven and here is the after i hope you guys found this video helpful if you did go ahead and smash the like button if you are new here please go ahead and click the subscribe button because we would love to have you here and until next time team keep it clean and happy spring cleaning